Okay, this is the video that several of you have been waiting for. This is a video on how to post to your blog and how to make a few minor changes to your blog as well. So that the first thing we want to do is notice this blog is very similar to your blog. We have a typical logo and the link that goes to your carpet cleaning site here and your topic and your header of your blog. What you want to do is scroll down and under meta you want to click log in. Now after you log in this is going to look different and I'll show you in just a minute but if you've never logged in before you want to click log in and you want to type in the username and password that I gave you. Mine's carpet8 and my password, I'm not going to tell you what it is but what we want to click is remember me this way you don't ever have to type it in again unless you delete the history of your computer or refresh your temporary internet files this could go away this should stay on here forever now we click log in and we're into our blog this is the back end of our blog so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna write a post you click over here to write post and we're going to make a post about let's call it orange juice stain on carpet and then down here we're gonna post to remove orange juice use a neutral pH cleaner and follow with a rinse cycle yeah we can type other stuff later but just basically to show you how to make a post I would probably want to make a post a little bit longer than that but it doesn't have to be much longer than that it can only be one sentence if you want it to be the main thing is have your title something to do with your three keywords and your three keywords are carpet cleaning and your city name so I'm gonna click we got the word carpet here and orange juice which could help if somebody's searching for orange juice stain removal okay now my post is saved because I clicked publish now I want to go up here to view site and I'm going to look at my post right here and it came up right away now if you look at some of my other posts they are all to do with carpet cleaning in Pensacola we don't want to put all three keywords in every post like here we have all three here we just have one here we just have one here we just have one here we have just carpet and rugs would maybe be another keyword and tile here we have carpet cleaning and the city name and you see how this is a longer post and this is a medium post these are short posts just main thing is that you're posting at least every couple weeks every week is ideal but never go more than three weeks without posting and here's what I want to show you after I've already logged in and put my information in now it just says site admin because it knows who you are it remembers who you are just click this later and you can go directly in without having to enter in your username and password so I'm going to show you something else too well let's go back to the regular part of the block okay if I wanted to I can go to this and edit when you're first starting out your blog this is what you're going to want to do you're going to want to make a post or when you originally make the post you want to do a post timestamp if you want to make several to look like your blog isn't brand new you can make post dated in other words I can pretend like I made this post on January 10th and then I'll just click save up here and now I look at my blog and that post isn't there anymore it's go linearly linearly down to January 10th and there it is just as if I had posted it back in January 10th So that's one trick that you can do we'll go back into our site again show you a few other things under presentation here's how you can change your header color and image we would click lower color if we wanted to make it a different color if we want to make it red you can do that here to fit your company colors if I haven't already done that for you um, we're gonna revert that but anyway that's how you fix that um, over here in your blog roll if you have anybody else that you want to add you would click add link and you would add somebody else to your blog roll like I've got all these different sites and some of these might be your sites but I've got all these sites on my blog roll and 
here are my different posts if I want to manage those. It's best to categorize these. I haven't done this on this blog yet, but you can categorize these as you're posting them. Um, this one's under spot removal, but call them with your keywords, either spot removal or carpet cleaning or tile cleaning. Call them according to what you would want your keywords to show up as. Um, okay, here is where we actually tell Google and on your blog what the title of your blog is. This is what shows up in your header. So I have carpet, rug, and tile cleaning tips by the expert in Pensacola, Florida, and this is the tagline underneath that header. And if I wanted to change that, I would change that right here. Um, this is actually letting anybody register to post on your blog if they want to. If this is unclicked and you're receiving junk email, just unclick these two under options, and you nobody will be allowed to actually register. Therefore, you won't get any junk email from your blog. So you can just unclick those two. But we're going to go back to view site, and that's where I'm talking about where that information for the title is. If you wanted to change any of that, that's basically it. And if anybody has any questions at all, feel free to email me, john at hitmanadvertising.com. Just make sure you're posting regularly, at least every three weeks. If not, every two weeks, one to two weeks is ideal. So happy blogging. Thanks.